Hello, this is Anna, the Pretty Shepherd, and today I am here to show you an Edwardian inspired hairstyle. Right, this one. Which isn't only quick and easy and thus super fit for all your fast paced everyday life hairstyle needs, but is also ideal for greasy hair days. You heard that right? This is the kind of hairstyle that you can actually use on those days when you're getting closer to the day when you already have to wash your hair and things are getting a little bit greasy and crazy in there but you still have to go on for some more days which in my case is two weeks because because I only wash my hair once a month uh, if that's news to you here's a video you can watch on that very topic but yeah so I've only recently discovered this hairstyle, it's a new favorite of mine and currently I am on the fourth week of not having washed my hair and I've been wearing this for over a week, kind of. So as I've said, week three and four. And discovering it was totally intuitive. I do sometimes like to wear my hair in a Gibson-esque updo, however my hair never likes to sit upright when it's more on the greasy side. So I've learned to work with it instead of fighting it. So working together with my hair also means that I allow the parting to sit where it usually sits. That's how the hair follicles are used to being. If I tried to make this same hairstyle with a side parting, it wouldn't work for me because that's I just I just never wear my hair like that. But since this hairstyle is really quick and simple, I don't want this video to be any longer than it should be. So let's just jump right into the hair tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start out with our hair fully combed out. So I, for one, always wear my hair with a middle parting. And as we know from all of the Gen Z trendsetters, it means that I'm one of the cool kids. But wherever your hair usually likes to be parted, is the way to go. Even if you were trying to do something more historically accurate Edwardian, it would still work because there is a lot of variety in where women wore their parting at that time. So, I've brushed all the hair out. I have it parted down the middle. Hopefully you will be able to see everything that I'm doing, um, but I will walk you through it. First, I'm going to flip my hair over, gather it all into my hand as if I were gathering it into a ponytail, but I will still keep a distance from my scalp. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Can you see? I hope you can see. Oh my gosh. Okay, gathering all the hair. If you want to, you can actually brush this back area and the front area but it's not always necessary. Do you see that I'm keeping my hand uh, at a distance from my actual head? So now I'm going to take it into my other hand and start twisting it. And you see, I've already made a little poof over here. All I have to do is twist the rest and let it coil up into a cinnamon bun. Okay, even the sun decided to show up. Let's try it one more time. So I'm going to flip my hair. That's it. Now, there is always a little bit of variety in how it turns out. So it's worth experimenting a couple of times if you don't get the desired result at first. One more time. Let's do a little close up. And I'm not twisting too much, so I won't really twist the part of hair that is in my palm over here, like this bit, it has to stay straight. Did you see that? I hope you did. Over here, it might be a little bit disorderly, but that's fine. We'll deal with that. You could definitely use bobby pins or uh, like spiral clips or anything that you prefer. I like to use the little clippies right here. There we go. If you've clipped these two sides, it's almost stable, almost. I like to add two more on the bottom and usually one more on this side. There we go. And now you can play around with these hairs. You can run your fingers through it to make it a little bit looser. You can pull. As soon as you've reached a shape that you are happy with, we're going to take two of these really small clippies. There we go. And we're going to do something really sneaky. We're going to lift this hair 
and we're going to clip into the bun and the hair close to the scalp like so and the hair goes over it and you can't see it anymore same on the other side. This usually tends to be the messier side for me. So I like to tuck in the messy bits, lift the hair, clip, and the hair goes over. Ta-da! It's finished! That's it! That was it! That was all the hairstyle! Look at this! Sneaky, sneaky, modernized, Edwardian hair for your everyday life. Obviously, it can take a little bit of practice, but as you saw me, even I did it. I actually, this is the fourth time. I don't know how many times I'm going to show on camera because of the editing, but I tried it four times until this one was like the, the good one. But it's not so difficult to try it more than once since it really only takes about a minute to do the whole thing. So, you know, if you're holding the hair with one hand and you check yourself in the mirror and you don't like the way that the side poofs are sitting, then just don't do the bun. Flip your hair over and just do it again. And that's all it takes. Now, the way that you could accessorize this, uh, or the way that I would accessorize it at least, is by adding some sort of bow or hair clip into the middle of the bun, like so. Or if you have a larger bow, you can even add it at the bottom of the bun, like so. And that's it! Well, I find it pretty probable that I am going to do another Edwardian Gibson girl hairstyle in the future, which is going to be aimed at freshly washed hair. So uh, keep an eye out for that. You know what? If you want to make sure that you're going to be notified if I'm going to post that video, you should ring the bell, the notification bell. Here it is. Oh, what's that? The sound of a new Pretty Shepherd video? Yay! <laughs> if you haven't realized what the witchery of this hairstyle was, it's merely the fact that I allow my hair to do what it wants when it's more on the greasy side. For instance, I know that when it's more greasy, it will not want to sit upright. And since the Edwardian or Gibson girl hairstyles usually have the hair close to the scalp poofing upward, mine will not want to do that on the third week. However, it will very nicely poof to the sides, which is literally the only thing that I'm making use of in this hairstyle. And there you have it, me working together with my hair instead of trying to force it to do things that it really doesn't want to do. Now with that said, I am aware that there is so much variety in hair types. One hairstyle that works for me may not work for everyone. No, it will surely not work for everyone. But I do wonder and I want to find out if you have figured out a way to work together with your greasy hair. Is there any sort of trick or specific hairstyle that you like to use when you are getting closer to the end of your washing cycle? And I do mean hair washing cycles. However, I am very sure that some of you will have fascinating stories to share about the hairstyles that you make when you see that your washing machine is running close to the end of its program. And to be honest, I'm very curious about those as well. So if you could, please leave them in the comments below. Please. But joking aside, please do let me know in a comment below if you have any sort of hairstyle that you've learned because your hair kind of 
showed you the way, showed you the way that it wants to be treated, showed you the thing that it wants to do on any specific day of your hair washing cycle. Anyway, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you did, do leave it a like. And I also hope that I've managed to quench your thirst for romantic Edwardian style updos for a while being at least. If you enjoy this kind of historical, sometimes folkloric, sometimes vintagey content, then do subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every week and I mean it the Gibson girl updo for freshly washed hair is also coming up soon ish so ring that bell if you want to be notified thank you so much for watching have a great day have fun and bye bye smoothie, 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 smoothie. we need some cat content it's so hard to get the cats into hairstyle videos because I'm not filming any of the beds, so they can't see you when you're jumping in my lap. How awful. Awful indeed. No, you are smirking. Who's she called?